Hello, my name is Jay Khan, also Jay Professor of Entrepreneurship. Our people respond to future mobility are changing rapidly. Any solution to solve certain problems create new and unexpected problems. For example, electric vehicles have problems such as taking a long time to charge and having a high risk of fire. The company that has led the electric vehicle craze so far has been Tesla. Electric vehicle based on lithium battery actually started with imperfect technology. It is said that LG chemicals battery were used in Tesla's first model, the Roadster, and upon learning this, LG expressed great concern. If so many lithium battery are stored in a car, there is a high risk of explosion. In fact, upon hearing this warning, Tesla collected the battery pack, tested them on fire, and was surprised by the tremendous explosive power. Currently, electric vehicles are evolving technologically by recognizing these problems and coming up with solutions. In the past, Samsung chairman Lee Gun Hee emphasized the directive when switching from VHS video player to DVDs, which was that DVD player should have all the advantages of existing video players. For example, if a video player stops playing and takes out the tape, or it can resume playing from that point. On the other hand, at that time, when a DVDs were taken out from the players and played again, it started playing from the beginning. Chairman Ligon he thought that if these shortcomings were not improved, there would be no chance of success in the DVD market. As I remember, a large number of low-priced DVD players appeared in the market at that time. It's like looking at today's electric cars. Since electric vehicles operate by installing a battery in the vehicle, the various entries are said to be lower than those of internal combustion engine vehicle. Is there anyone around you using a DVD player right now? Sometimes we borrow DVDs for free from the library, but most of the time we use streaming services like Netflix or YouTube. I think the future of mobility will be similar. Current electric vehicles are in transition state and the cars we will use in the future will likely to be similar to streaming service. What if a car was developed that could continuously supply energy? Of course, it is difficult to imagine with current technology. However, Tesla's electric car was also a product that was difficult to imagine 20 years ago. Hyundai and Toyota are developing core technology for hydrogen electric vehicles and are actively seeking commercialization. In addition, GM has introduced hydrogen electric vehicle models such as Hydrogen 4 and is said to be focusing on research centers on Hydrotech, a hydrogen electric vehicle center in Ponia. In fact, GM was the first company to create a hydrogen car. In addition, German is maintaining the existing internal combustion engine and is pursuing the use of fuel using liquidified hydrogen. Although the price of liquidified hydrogen fuel is currently very high, this can be overcome through mass production and subsidies. As of now, it is unclear which method will become the global standard, but there is a good chance that a type of vehicle that does not yet exist will become standardized. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Hydrogen technology for private cars has faced hurdles. However, Namex is making bold claims. They say they'll make hydrogen fuel widely available without the need for a sprawling network of fuel stations. Instead of pumping hydrogen into a tank like a conventional petrol car, the Namex HUV uses removable capsules that feed a fixed tank. 
This gives the HUV an impressive total range of up to 497 miles, and drivers can simply swap empty capsules for full ones. I want to hear your thought on the future of mobility. Thanks for watching. I wish all the best for your future.